it would be really good for the authorities to get to the root of this so that there's clarity. And we came to the sad conclusion this evening that at least in that incident alone, I mean, in the incidents in Lagos alone, 12 people had lost their lives. Meaning that uh, the CCTV cameras were removed and then the whole area was uh, dark. Um, there were so many cases and so many incidents, but these were the ones that Amnesty International could independently verify. So the numbers could be much higher. And clearly the situation that is out now in some of the states in Nigeria. So really our call is for the authorities to look into this issue to investigate what could have happened, what could have triggered that kind of response from the um, armed forces, but also to stress that um, under international law, inter protesters, peaceful protesters, if you want to move them, there are means to move them. You don't have to fire live bullets at them. The um, talks that should have been controlled from the beginning and to mobilize. In addition to investigating what happened, who gave the orders, why were the soldiers there in the first place. It's also important for the authorities to investigate those allegations that the CCTV cameras and the lights, street lights were not um, available at that point in time and that they were actually removed prior to the incidents that occurred. They need to actually get to the root of that. Shoot today is referring to Lagos only. It's Lagos only. Well, from what we are seeing on the ground, clearly um, the, they did not respect um, international human rights law and Nigeria's constitution as well um, in terms of protecting people's lives and securing uh, people's um, safety. And it's really to an appeal to, the, uh, to these authorities to... I think it's important for people to understand that it's, it's not the protest that led to the violence, it's just the way it was handled. And the protesters conducted themselves with the highest standard. Um, they were respectful. Um, they ensured that they cleaned up after themselves. They picked up their rubbish after each session. Um, and they've shown a sort of commitment to justice and that a, 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 an arm cost to one is an arm cost to all of them. And we could see that that resonated, it, regardless of tribe, regardless of um, religion. These young people came out together to say enough is enough. We want a Nigeria that works for us.